The Southern California wildfires are relentless, causing billions of dollars in damages. Firefighters are struggling to contain them, and new evacuations are being ordered. Jane Wells reports tonight from Carpinteria. Just when you thought it was safe to breathe again, the Santa Ana's kicked up ferociously on Sunday, injecting new life into what is now the fifth largest fire in modern California history. Over 230 acres across Ventura and Santa Barbara counties have burned in what's called the Thomas Fire. That's more than 350 square miles, larger than all of New York City. One death has been attributed to the fire, and it's the first time in recent memory that a wildfire is still destroying homes and forcing new evacuations one week later. ¿Qué pasó ayer? Pues pura desastre que era demasiado humo. Mario Cardona was forced to leave his home in the beach town of Carpinteria. The fire has so far destroyed around 800 structures and 18,000 homes remain threatened. We started to kind of pack the china a little bit, a little bit of some of our, you know, our Waterford and and favorite coffee mugs. So it's, you know, it's it's interesting to see the different layers of of uh, frustration you go through or panic, that type of thing. The fire moved into the wealthy enclave of Montecito, home to multi-million dollar estates. Celebrity residents like Oprah Winfrey, Ellen DeGeneres, and Rob Lowe tweeted out concerns or updates. 6,400 personnel from 12 states have come out to fight this fire. Many of them have staged here at Carpinteria High School underneath the hills where the flames have been slowly making their way down. Also, there are 27 helicopters up today. On Sunday, there were 29 helicopters. Each helicopter is only allowed to fly seven hours. All 29 flew seven hours. Kelsey Bleeker watched the fire trucks line up in front of her house this morning. It's been pretty scary, raining ash and, you know, the flame is threatening all night. There has been no significant rain here for 250 days, but at some point the rain will come, the winds will end, the rebuilding will begin, and perhaps investigators will learn the cause of one of the biggest fires California has ever seen. For Nightly Business Report, Jane Wells, Carpinteria, California.